Hi guys, my name is Miller and welcome back to a tips and tricks video. It has been a while since I did one. In this video I will try to explain to you guys how fairly easy it is to get the milestone card and how it can be done even without having to do a single life race in a season with then the goal to build up a garage like I have. It's a long video but well worth it, timestamps below if needed. First real short, what is a milestone if you wonder and what is the point in it? For each season, which lasts 14 days by the way, from Thursday to Thursday two weeks later, there are certain crew RP milestones giving you and your crew members some nice extra rewards. With the biggest eye catcher being the 20 million mark, which rewards every player in the crew with a gold star version of the season price car, which is mostly in a different color. This one is slightly slower than the season price car, but significantly easier to achieve. And this milestone car might for now not be of great use, but down the line it could have its own cup saving you some extra keys and upgrades so it is always suggested to actually try getting the car. I have been playing since the introduction of the milestone system car back in 2017 and now I have almost all cars in game. Getting this car for free every season is the start and a boost to your collection, no matter how fast or slow the car is or what tier it is in. Step 1. Finding a good crew But how do you get at 20 million RP and how much efforts does it take? Well you have to join a crew. And a crew has a cap of 30 people, which means that per member you need to hit 667,000 RP at average. The more people in the crew, the easier of course, so if you're in a crew that is basically empty, or is inactive basically dead, or you just made your own crew and you're sitting there alone, I think it is time to try finding a crew which is more active and can actually reach that value. And there are at least 2000 of those crews nowadays. If you're looking for a crew, I suggest to scan the Facebook pages and groups, or the specifically set up subreddit called CSR Recruiting. But Facebook groups are bigger and offer a bigger variety of posts, depending if you're willing to actually join the groups or if you just want to cruise to subreddit and see what's interesting there. On these pages you will find various posts of crews looking for new members. There are three things to notice on these posts. The most important one being the minimum required RP per person that joins the crew. For each crew this varies. Some say we need 800,000 minimum as they want to make sure if there is a player short or if a player drops the ball they can still get the car. Or you have others which ask for 500,000 or you have other guys kind of pulling the weight for you. The second item is to look for what type of communication app they use. Crews who hunt for milestone cars are crews who are in most cases well organized and that requires communication and to be fair the in-game chat based system is far from perfect. The most popular communication apps are Line, Facebook Messenger and Discord. Depending on what you have you can filter out some crews you're interested in joining. The final item which is sometimes mentioned is the wildcard schedule or the time zone the players are from. When I mentioned organized, I mean they run wildcards on a set time almost daily. If you are from the United States for example who likes to run a wildcard after work for extra RP once in a while, I suggest for you to look at an American based crew. If Asian, you can look for maybe some Eastern crews, etc etc, whatever suits you, your own schedule, the best. The only thing I want to add though to this is if you agree to a minimum, you have to hit it. If you don't, you might get kicked and be replaced as crews do not want to risk losing a car over a driver who can't hit made promises. Also, do not activate wildcards unless you're an admin or the admin slash leader allowed you to. To this day, this is still one of the biggest frustrations for many milestone crews. Step 2. Claiming the free crew RP Now this is what makes it so easy nowadays really, to a point where not a single live race is required. The game has two types of RP, solo RP and crew RP. A solo RP is what you get when you complete a race and is what you see at the bottom whenever you're about to claim your cash. Crew RP on the other hand shows up in orange and can only be won through the use of cups and gets added to your solo RP in the crew leaderboard that's why sometimes the values don't match in the crew leaderboard and on your wall in the garage. This free crew RP over a season of 14 days can mount up to 700,800 per person, which is more than the required 667,000 RP that I mentioned earlier if you are in a full 30 people crew. But how do we get to this value of 700,800? There are four types of events which give you free crew RP, 
I will try to situate them by numbering the day in a season, counting Thursday when the season starts as day 1. And first we have supply cups, and there are 4 of them over the 2 week period. They happen on the 4th, 7th, 10th and 13th day of the season and last 2 days. In these solo cups you have to use the car you can pull from the silver crates which has a 10 times drop rate, which starts on day 2 by the way, or a car from the same manufacturer. Also the car with the 10 times drop rate is what we call the prestige car, remember that name for later. Each supply cup exists of 25 races, with 12,000 crew RP being given on race 5 and another 22,500 crew RP being given on race 25. A total of 34,500 crew RP and over a season that gives a total already of 138,000 crew RP. This is in my opinion the easiest type of cup they can give you imagine next season BMW Z4 M40i prestige car, you can basically run a BMW M4 to get 138,000 crew RP without actually owning the Z4 at that point. The second type of cup is a token cup. This is a crew ban type of cup where you have to reach a cumulative 30 race wins as a crew, where every player is limited to only 3 races a day and the event lasting 2 days, with the exception of the second token cup, which lasts only 24 hours. But that should not really be a problem if you have 30 semi-active crew members. This type of event happens 3 times in a season. On the 3rd, 7th and 12th day, the only requirement here is to just be part of a crew. And if you complete the race and no matter what car and the 30 races have been achieved, the 30k RP is rewarded in the inbox ready to claim. So a total of 90,000 a season per person and with the supply cups combined, you are already at 228,000 RP. This is already over a third of the required average RP of 667,000. The third type of event is a bit harder as the requirement is more specific. The crew cups on day 5 and 13 are the same concept of the token cup, where you have to reach a cumulative 30 race wins over 2 days. But here is a catch, to be able to take part in the first crew cup on day 5, you need to use last season's prestige car. In this case it was a Celine S1, and for the one on day 13 you need to race using the current prestige car, being the Hyundai Veloster in this case. Each cup gives 86,400 crew RP. If you can do both, you get another 172,800 crew RP. Adding that to the total gives you a nice 400,800 crew RP and you didn't need to do a single life race to this point, just own last and current prestige car. The final one is the biggest one, it is the Prestige Cup. This solo type cup is the biggest and most crucial event of the season, requiring you to have the Prestige car. Remember that one with the 10 times drop rate on silver I mentioned earlier? And you need this car upgraded to a certain level. This cup starts on day 8 and gives you a nice extra 300,000 points, bringing the total tally down to 700,800. But the challenge here lays in being able to beat the cup. Mostly 2 to 3 stage 6 parts should do the job. You can get these by having done the crew cup on day 9 which gives you a stage 6 part and the race 28 of the prestige cup which gives you a second hopefully useful stage 6 part. The third one comes down to luck or how many keys you have as you can get it through either stripping a second prestige car if you have leftover silver keys or maybe a lucky bronze crate or performance trial or special prestige crates which cost a fair bit more on the bronze keys but they're still worth it. Prestige cups are difficult, definitely if it is a prestige car of which fusion parts are hard to get, like we had with the Celine S1 or the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So that was all the crew RP you can get, which is more than a needed average. Add that to the small RP you get by doing your daily trials and running in cups and you will be hitting 750,000 easily. And it didn't cost a single online race to try getting in some extra solo RP but it did require to have the cars to be able to take part in the cups. And here comes the final step, step 3. How to guarantee yourself of getting the prestige car every single season. This all comes down to key management and by playing for a while. For veterans like me, we have stacks of keys laying around and we have the cars already before drop rates even start as nowadays they are a majority in the cases returning cars. And we got in this kind of position by building ourselves up to this privilege. How do we got those prestige cars? Well, if it was a former milestone car or prestige car, we already have it. And if we don't, we will just have to spend some silver keys on the 10x drop rate. 
Well, for you guys to pull it, you will need silver keys. And of those, you can earn up to 500 a season. I made a video on that a while ago. Up there in the little card is the link. I'll make an updated video soon about it, but the essence stays the same. So you go ahead and watch that after you finish watching this video. Yes, you will need to do some live races for these, so the title could be considered as clickbait slightly, but that was definitely not the intention. Here is what is most important. Pull only up until you get the car. If you have it, stop using the keys and save them up. Fight the urge so you will have more leftover keys for the following season. This way you can save up a bit over time so that at one point you will have 750 keys as a buffer by the time a new drop rate begins, meaning if you have bad luck, you will be guaranteed to get the prestige car no matter what, because after pulling 15 times you get the car and 15 times 50 is 750. If you by any chance already had the car, don't use the keys and save them for the following season and collect the keys throughout the season. Always save, I cannot stress this enough. What I did when I started playing was, at the beginning of a season, I said I'm not gonna pull a single crate for 14 days. I saved up an extra 400-ish keys, and with the 200 keys I already had, I had 600 silver keys ready to go for the next season. There was no loyalty back then, so I didn't have an idea to save up to 750, and I did kind of get lucky because I did get the prestige car after 5 pulls. But then after that, I refused to pull another car. I had 300 keys left over, collected another 400 over the next season and had 700 ready for the next one. Over time I went up and down, but eventually you start building up the stash beyond thousands. And now me for example, I have built up a gap of 6000 keys, meaning I don't have to run online anymore for silver keys and I will definitely get the next 8 prestige cars for the next 8 seasons, at least, if it would take 15 pulls each time with excessive bad luck. Once you get things going, prestige cars will start to drop like it's nothing, and you will get 700,800 RP a season without breaking a sweat, and by doing not even 150 races over a 2 week period. If you then run wildcards with a team online, or upgrade a car and such, you will be building that up to 1 million RP easily, and if everyone in the crew would do that, the 20 million mark will be achieved with days to spare, as the bar is not really set that high. It only requires good teamwork and key management. It will not cost you a thing, it is completely free and any major efforts are not even required. Worst case scenario is lacking fusion parts for special manufacturers like we had with prestige cups for Celine and Jeep, but then you might not be able to beat the final time of the prestige cup which is only 180,000 you miss out on, you still get a lot of other free RP. Other seasons where you have the Hyundai or the BMW it should almost be a cakewalk. 3 steps, get a crew, get a car and get the free RP. Result, a free dope milestone car which in the future could help you out save some gold keys if it's a golden cup or silver keys if it becomes a prestige car when the loop is round. Just like I won't have to spend any keys to get the KTM crossbow which will be season 84 prestige car as it was a milestone car back in season 54 and I won it. And I won't even have to spend any gold keys on the Zenvo as I've won it in season 58 for when the Evo cup starts next Friday to get the TSRS. So now I have plenty of keys when the GT2 RS drops, so then I'll be guaranteed to have it no matter how much bad luck I'll have. Feel free to comment below your crew with contact details so people can contact you to join the crew. Share this with your crews and friends so they can learn how to always hit minimum and without a doubt you can expand your collection. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. My name is Miller, see you around and keep racing.